Ballistic Weave, the tool that many of us need to make some of our builds even worth it with certain outfits and costumes. This video is all about how Ballistic Weave works with the new outfits and costumes that come with Nuka World. I'm wearing Mason's costume right now, and I have in my inventory every single clothing item that came with Nuka World. All of the undergarments, all of the masks, all of the helmets, everything that could possibly accept Ballistic Weave. We're going to check right now to see exactly which outfits accept Ballistic Weave and which armor pieces you can wear over them. Um, now, uh, I'll break it to you early. There's a little bit of a disappointment. Very few outfits accept Ballistic Weave. So, uh, this is my green shirt and combat boots that came with Vanilla Fallout 4. It accepts Ballistic Weave. You can see I've already got it upgraded to Ballistic Weave Mark 5. And the nice thing about the green shirt and combat boots is you can wear every single armor piece over it. Both legs, both arms, the chest piece, and a helmet. That is the baseline that we're going against. To be able to replace this, I need to find a new Nuka World item that will not only accept Ballistic Weave, but also allow me to wear all five pieces of armor over it. Now, the nice thing about this armor station is it cuts down the selection of my inventory pretty quickly because it only shows me items that can be edited in the armor station. And as you can see, it's a quite a small number. Now, the first thing we notice is that the Habologist outfit, outfit does accept Ballistic Weave. So let's go ahead and upgrade it to Ballistic Weave Mark V, all right? Now let's equip it. Armored Hubologist's outfit. All right, pretty ugly. <laughs> it's, it's not an attractive outfit, uh, but let's see what armor pieces we can wear over it. Chest piece? No, that automatically takes it off. Helmet? No, takes it off. Left leg? Nope. Right leg, I'm sure. Well, uh, let's try arms and no. So that's the answer to our question. The Habologist's outfit is fully upgraded with Ballistic Weave, but you can't wear any armor pieces over it. That means it's worthless for our purposes. All right, next up, we've got the Magician's Tuxedo. You can get this off of Oswald, and it is upgradable with Ballistic Weave. Let's go to Mark V. And now let's try it on to see what it looks like. All right, uh, pretty pretty cool, not too bad. Splattered with paint, looks like a magician's outfit. Now let's see what armor pieces we can wear over it. Chest piece? No. Helmet? Yes. Leg? No. Um, arm? And no. So it looks like the magician's outfit, or the magician's tuxedo, is fully upgradable, but you can only wear a helmet with it. Bomber, bomber. Now, uh, just to put that in perspective, the Mechanist's outfit, the outfit you get from the Mechanist, is just like the Magician's Tuxedo. It, too, can be upgraded with Ballistic Weave, and it, it gives you the head slot free. But it also comes with its own Ballistic and Energy damage resistance. I believe it gives you plus 70 and plus 15 resistance, uh, respectively. So it's going to be a better choice in pure ballistic and energy damage resistance than the Magician's Tuxedo, simply because it comes with some of its own. Now, this one does have one Charisma and one Endurance, and it has a legendary effect that reduces damage from humans by 15%. So, if you want to go with this route, you just weigh the odds. In my opinion, the Armored Green Shirt and Combat Boots is going to be infinitely better, because you can equip every single piece of um, armor on top of it. There, I've got a left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg, helmet, and chest piece, and uh, in addition to the green shirt and combat boots, so it's just a far better selection. But we're not done yet. Let's see what else can be upgraded with Ballistic Weave in Nuka World. The Nuka Girl Rocket Suit can't. The only reason it's showing up here is because I have a legendary modification mod installed that recognizes that this comes with a legendary slot. Um, but you can't upgrade the rocket suit. That's a big bummer. But you can upgrade the Nuka World jumpsuit. Let's upgrade this to Mark V. Put it on. And this is what it looks like. Um, it's just a Nuka World jumpsuit. So you get this 
from Sierra Petrovita. She's the uh, the Nuka World crazy person who uh, gives you the quest to wear the cappy glasses and find all of the hidden cappies in the park. The problem with obtaining this jumpsuit is you basically have to make a choice during the quest. Do you want the jumpsuit or do you want the Nuka Nuka launcher? If you choose the Nuka Nuka launcher, then you actually have to kill her uh, to get this. Or maybe you could pickpocket off of her. I'm not sure. I think you'd have to kill her. That's the only way to get it if you also want the Nuka Nuka launcher. But let's see what other items we can put on it. Can we put a chest piece on? No, and it takes it off. Leg? No. How about an arm? No, and it takes it off. So the only piece we can wear with this is a helmet, just like the magician's outfit, which renders it useless um, in my perspective. Let's see. Is there anything else? The top hat from Oswald sadly cannot be upgraded with Ballistic Weave, but it is a legendary item. Uh, wild Man Rags? Nope, nope. The Wild Man Rags cannot be upgraded with Ballistic Weave. So, uh, that's, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I have every single item that could possibly drop off of anyone in Nuka World. I've got the cappy jacket and shirt, the colorful uh, undergarments. These are all of the different pack underarmors. Um, here's the disciple helmets, the disciple head coverings and hoods. These fancy underarmors come from the operators. I've got Mason's outfit. I've got all of the Nuka World different uh, different uh, outfits. Uh, I've got all of the Western stuff in here, all of the masks. It's all in my inventory. And the disciples stuff is the torn shirt and then the ripped, the ripped shirt and the ripped pants and jeans. So I've got everything in my inventory, but not all, only three items can be equipped with Ballistics Weave. The Habologist's outfit, the Magician's tuxedo, and the Nuka World jumpsuit. None of them are a replacement for the green shirt and combat boots or other vanilla items that allow you to wear other armor pieces over them. So that answers our question. In terms of Ballistic Weave, nothing from the Nuka World DLC is currently better than what you can get in the vanilla game. Now let's talk a little bit about some other things since we're already here. Here's the Disciples Armored Skirt. Uh, I believe this drops off of Dixie and um, you can upgrade it from standard to improved. And that simply goes up 10 ballistic damage and up uh, 10 energy damage. And uh, the mis miscellaneous mods are, are much akin to the cage armor. So um, it basically acts like the cage armor in the vanilla game. Here's what the operator's dress looks like. It's very similar. Here's what the operator's skirt looks like. Also similar. Um, these are basically cage armor. They're full body pieces of cage armor that only leave the head slot open, like uh, like cage armor that drops in the vanilla game. Uh, and, they, and so they don't act as clothing. They're like a mix between clothing and armor. They take up all of your inventory slots. They're not as good as each individual armor piece, but they're slightly better than a regular piece of clothing armor. And yet they can't be upgraded with um, Ballistic Weave. So, ladies and gentlemen, sorry to bury you the bad news, but that is the answer. I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, please subscribe for more Fallout 4 and Nuka World content. If you have any comments or further insight that you'd like to share with us, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And thanks so very much for watching.